Hello and welcome back to my Slime Rancher Let's Play series where we are continuing from where we left off in the last episode except that I slept to the next day so we now have some daylight to work with and I have done some more research. First of all, thank you Jade Knight for telling me that you can toggle um, the shift key I believe. Enable hold to sprint. There we go. Thank you very much for that. So that is very useful. All right, so we are back on the farm, of course. We have some stuff in our inventory and I have done some research and where are you going, mister? Get back in there. Yeah, they can sometimes escape when that happens. All right, get back in there. Should be good. We have some more plots somewhere or over here. Let's get these fellas. Oh, there's another slime that is free yeah we're gonna be taking a look at oh wow okay well that chicken is pretty much gone now um yeah but today in this episode we're going to continue in the farm here we're going to expand with some stuff and don't you even i bought these carrots they're not for you yet um yes in fact let's just throw a few carrots in here for them to eat and uh yes so in this episode we're definitely going to be hopefully getting some more slimes in here because um, I definitely want some more and these four slimes are not enough for me so yes I sell these because we will be needing the money um, Cuberry uh, gonna leave those here for now I think I can always get some I believe uh, they are growing carrots. That's good. Okay. I also have some poco fruits on me, but we should be good for now. So If we take a look over here um, We can see we have some different plots over here So we have the normal pink ones and we have some others and others and others and this one right here is the one We are going to hopefully get today because in the last episode we quickly went over there and then we went away But there is another type of slime that we really want here. Um, let me get the plot. We can always use those, so be on the lookout for those. Um, if we get over here, whoa, spawning like crazy. We have some plots going on over here. We do not want the slimes, they can go free if they wish. But I do want to collect these because, of course, they will be um, our main source of income. But let us now get over there to where I want to go. Also, I have figured out what that big fella is. Um, I can't remember how to get up. I believe it's over there. But we won't be going over there yet. But it's a big guy that we can feed and he gives us a bunch of cool stuff. But these guys are the... Ow! Yeah, these are the ones I actually want. So, we might be getting some of those. Um, Largo slimes are large slime hybrids formed when a slime eats a plot unlike its own. Yes, that's the thing we want to be careful with. With if they eat too many different plots, then um, we might have issues with some bad slimes showing up. Um, and what I mainly want is actually not these specific slimes. Well, I want them. Ow! But I want their plots. Actually, when these guys have eaten, we get some blue. This one right here, and the other these guys right here love to eat these so I want to get some so I'm actually happy now that I brought some food so please give me your plot there we go um, do we have some more blue guys around here oh sorry oh he's not hungry apparently this guy that's fine with me no not hungry okay well then but we can give some carrots to these guys. Okay, so let me explain a bit of what's happening here. Basically, ow. Basically, ow. Stop it. Okay, so basically, what happens is these these fellas over here, these small ones over here, they eat this rock plot, and that turns them into these guys right here. Um, and that way we can actually mix between different types of slimes, which is why I am feeding these guys some carrots when they're hungry, so we can convert our current slimes we have back home 
to the big ones. And man, this place is filled with these things here. Definitely want some more of these. There we go. Um, I do want some... I did see something up here that I wanted. I think it was just supports. Um, we have this over here because if we take a look at the map, it's currently just this blue blank. This will activate the map over here just like that so we can see things a bit better so that it is perfect. I believe I missed that in the last episode. Um, yes, so let us give a... Oh, he's not hungry apparently. Let's give it to you. And so these guys, when you mix between them, they um, they produce different types of plot and can also produce more than one thing. For example, since this... Oh, we'll read that in a moment. Um, for example, these guys are converted for these guys and these guys. Um, and so th this produces both of them's uh, plots. And also they sometimes... Whoa... They share the same traits, and we will take a look at that in a moment. But let's get back now. I believe I have enough rock ports um, to do what I want to do. So let's get back. We can read that star mail, and we will be good to go. I'll get some more details on that. I'll show you some more details of that in this linepedia, um, which I didn't use much in the last episode. So we have these four guys here. We can make them eat this stuff here. Just like that, and get, ow, wow, come on fella, get that, there we go, perfect. So now we converted our small slimes into these guys, and so when we feed these guys, they will now produce multiple plots for us, which is perfect, and these rock plots are way more, or much more valuable than the normal pink ones, but we gotta sell all these just like that. You can see the price of them over here. Um, and also the prices do change. So that's a thing to remember. But let's solve these and I'll go in a bit more detail with what these different things are. So we now already now have... Oh, and by the way, thank you for the money suggestions, but I decided to go with something that was a little bit universal. So I'm going to go with credits as that is used in multiple things and not by one specific country so but anyways thank you very much for your suggestions and i think credits is the um one that i'm going to use but let us take a look in the slimepedia so slimes um apparently it has not activated these yet i'm not sure why but i do believe actually that we need to capture one of the blue ones because we cannot suck any of these up in our um thingy so let me just get back here and get a blue slime real quick. I just need to get him up in this thing and then spit him out again. Don't really need him currently. There we go, rock slime. Let's take a look about that. Oh, sorry fella. <laughs> Slimepedia. Slimes. Okay, so we now have the rock slime. And here we can see that diet, fruit, veggies, meat, favorite. They don't have any favorite. But rock slimes, their diet is veggies and their favorite is heartbeat. Um, and because these two are now combined, these things will eat anything, I believe, as their favorite. So, actually that is wrong, I believe. Sorry. They can eat, they can now, our big pink rocky slimes, they can basically a eat anything, but they have um, taken the favorite of the rock slime. So now they have a favorite food, which these guys normally don't have, if that makes sense. Feel free to say that you don't understand what I'm saying in the comments if you do. <laughs> but basically, because um, over here, these now have a favorite heartbeat, and these over here don't have a favorite, when these two are mixed together, they now have the result of those two mixing together now have a favorite. Now, I do not believe I have any heartbeats. I believe I left it all um, back there. I'm just gonna throw these carrots in there for them to use just like that get us some plots so we can get some more money but yes I didn't pick up the heartbeats last time because my inventory was full but I will be picking them up now um, also poker fruits we do not want those we want um, I was given a hint that there might be some over here mushrooms no so we need to get up here and 
Uh, wonderful. All right, heartbeat. Nice. Very nice. We actually want to start farming these because basically what happens when you give a slime their favorite food. I don't think they are hungry right now, but what will happen is they will produce the double amount. These guys will produce the double amount of what they would normally produce. So, ow. You have to be a little bit careful. <laughs> As you can see down there in my hearts, they do do some damage. And this is another issue. They might probably break free because they jump on top of each other. And I do realize that we actually are missing one. Um, but let's sell these. There we go. Let's get you back in there. Boom. Okay, no, we are not missing any. So we want to upgrade this thing, our coral. And I do believe we have the money to do it. But I want to start another garden first. Because I want to farm these heartbeats. Now, I don't know if these guys will be hungry. Is anyone gonna eat this? No. Okay, well we'll do that later on. You will see what the effects are. Um, we have some money, but I think actually I will be getting some more pink slimes because I do want maybe three or four more in there. Um, so, get a couple. And I don't want to have too many in there. Because again, it can be a little bit too, um, yeah, too many. <laughs> but let's get those guys in there. Um, ow. Whoa, okay. Eat that fella. Alright, perfect. Then, you know what, let's go and read our star mail. Let's get into our house here, our star mail. Alright, Thor of West, sorry. Alright, let's read this. Hi there, Beatrix. The name's Thor of West. I'll keep my introduction short, on account that we all got work to do. I'm a long time rancher here on the Far Far Range and head of the welcome wagon for your local range exchange. The range exchange is a network of ranchers just like yourself who are looking to trade what they got for what they need. Slimes, plots, food, whatever. All you need to do is check out the range exchange machine daily and be sure to get your trade completed within 24 hours. Ooh, that's cool. As small ranchers get added to your network, you should receive a hearty hello from them. So check your inbox. Well, enough, Kevin. We've got slimes to wrangle. All right, adios. Adios, let's return to the ranch. So that is pretty cool. That is this thing over here. Um, let's take a look here. Thor West, oh, there she is. Help me out here and I'll make sure you get what's owed. Okay. Um. So she needs... Oh, that's a lot. Um, oh, okay, so she wants these and we'll get that in return. And we need to complete this within 24 hours. Um, I didn't really want to do this, but I guess... Um, well, we'll just let it run for now. Because what I mainly want to do right now is really if this guy is hungry... Okay, no, he wasn't. He was not. Just want some of these fellas right here so I can sell some more stuff. Alright, let's sell this and let's actually take a look at what other um, ports we can see out there. Alright, we should be good on carrots for a while. What you can do is just toss a bunch in there and so they will eat. And when these big guys finally decide to eat, they will leave those rocky plots in there and the small guys will then eat them. Now, I know that dangers can happen during the night time, or not really, but we do get these guys over here. Which could be a small... Ooh, what we got there? Nice. So these are another type of slimes and these are... Whoa. <laughs> and these are, um, they cannot be there in the day, basically, because they cannot handle the sun. But I want to see if we can maybe get some more of these guys, because that is what she wanted. Now, she did want some of those rocky slimes as well, but I don't see many around here. Only three, and I do not want to take all of them. We have another one over there. Not bad. I believe she wanted six or eight. I guess we'll just take these guys. I don't know how much these plots are worth, but we'll take it with us anyways. 
Um, I don't know what this does. I guess it's actually... Oh, I guess it's water. I thought it was electricity or something. <laughs> um, but yes, we have chickens here. Let's explore a bit. Um, let's head this way and see what we find. Oh wait, this might be a cave. No, okay. Well, let's see. <gasps> no way. One of these very special ones. Wait, what? Just haven't. Ah. Okay, I think I handled that wrong, but you'd sometimes get those. And I think you need to feed them either some sort of food or something for them to drop a special thing. Okay. Let's get eight of you. And we have some other type of slimes. You know what? Let's throw that away. Get it in the slime PVR we can. Whoa. Okay, that was a big fella. <laughs> okay. Gotta be a little careful here because we can actually get some um, unwanted guests, if I should say. Um, I should say. Because if they eat too many different plots, we may get an unwanted side effect. Um, but ow. Mind it. <laughs> um, but I think we're good here. Nope, we're not. These are the bad guys. We want to get those away as soon as possible when they happen because they will start eating and spread themselves to others. I think we got them. Nope, we did not. Too many different slimes here. Too many different slimes. Did we get them all? I think we got them all. But that is what happens when they eat too many different types of plots. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, nope, we're not. No, we're not. Get over here, buddy. Alright. Get out there. And they die. Okay, cool. Um, I basically came out here for the rock slimes. But I guess we can head back now since that area seems kind of clear. Alright. Gotta look at the view here and there, of course. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Plenty of plots here, if I had the space for it. I'm sure if we could, I'm sure we can upgrade that um, eventually. Okay, so these guys do come back, so I'm gonna take five since um, she really wants these. So I guess why not? So let's. <laughs> Hit back. I love how they just how they just um, Come out of nowhere Ah, Cool we'll get to all these slimes eventually and farm them ourselves, but currently We have a quest to do here. Okay, so okay, so he did want eight of those, okay and Then six of those. Okay, that's easy because we have a bunch of them here there we go, see? Now they all turn to that because they all ate those blue rock plots. Oh wait, wrong thing. Wonderful. Whoa. Nice. Okay, so we have a lot of stuff here. We just get all of this. Okay. Okay, so cube berry, we have cocoa fruits and we have heartbeats. Okay. So, what do we currently farm here? We have heartbeats. Okay, that's covered. We have carrots and cubeberry. I would like a separate thing for cubeberries. Um, but I would like to buy some other stuff too, though. Um, but you know what? Let's just get the money. Let's just get another garden. I know we're spending a lot of money on gardens, but I really want these so we can have them whenever we wish. All right, so these guys, I believe they might all be well fed, but I actually wanna take all their carrots away because I want to give them other food. Ow. Whoa, stop it. <laughs> Whoa, he flies. <laughs> get over here, fella. Yes, I currently want to just get rid of their carrots for now because I want to give them the heartbeats because that will produce us a lot more um, a lot more stuff 
so that will give us the double amount of what we would normally get okay so that is that done and okay so one thing that would be nice in this case because I often have a lot of stuff in my inventory and it would be nice for me not to have to go in there and um, whoa <laughs> and collect all the plots manually so if I can afford it oh dear get in there but there you can see actually the effect of it if I can afford it I think I'll buy a automatic an automatic plot collector uh, plot collector 500 not quite we need some more of these plots actually plots so let's get some of those okay that should be enough I just want to get 500 um, uh, almost there we go wonderful and of course might as well sell those too okay so plot collector here we go all of these are different things we can get. We got air net, solar shield, so we can have those slimes that only come out at night, for example, I believe. High walls, which we do want to get because these guys keep um, coming out. Auto feeder, but currently I want the plot collector. There we go. So that should now be over here. That should basically just collect all of the different types of plots. When we activate it, it gets all of the different plots from in here in here and we can just suck those out of there with our vacuum and go ahead and sell them so that is pretty awesome and oh the price is actually going down for these so what we want to do is um, eventually we want to not keep selling these but store them in a silo which I believe is how much how much is a silo a silo 450 we almost got enough for that um, yeah we almost got enough for that you know what let me check my slimes pedia here um, diet meat we don't have any meat yet except that it's hens and we don't really have those around much um, then we have these guys um, have a special needs compared to your typical slime uh, if exposed to sunlight and those these guys in of themselves disappear at sunlight um, We could keep these guys as rock slimes But currently it is better for us to have the mix between the pink and the rock slimes because we get a lot more We get basically what we would get for two slime areas or from two different slime types We get from one so that is pretty cool right there plus they seem happy um I would like a so we have a cube berry we do not have a pogo fruit garden let's get a pogo fruit garden I'd say um, question is can we demolish an old thing demolish demolish plot okay you know what that's fine with me um, we could do it with carrots you know because we might need carrots in the future but they are growing in the wild so I'm actually going to change it to demolish, purchase, and sell cocoa fruits or grow cocoa fruits. <laughs> there we go. Get these carrots in here. And you know what? We'll just throw these in here to these guys. Throw them all over the place so they have food for quite a while. Alright. Um, yes, that should be good. I would again like a silo, so I think. I'm gonna buy a silo over here, even though I currently don't have enough money. Alright, not enough to get us a silo yet, but I believe we will then do that in the next episode. Um, how much was it for a thing to prevent that? Um, high walls. You know what, I'm gonna buy that, because it is really annoying that they keep jumping out, so that will prevent them from doing that pretty much. Um, but yeah, I believe that is it. The sun is now slowly going to rise, so that is a perfect time to end the episode, I think. Whoa, almost went over. <laughs> um, yeah, so with the moon up there and with the current progress that we have, I guess I'll give them all these pogo fruits. Might as well, since we now farm them 
it would just be a waste to leave them out here. There we go. Alright, nice. So, so far we have upgraded this area here. We have upgraded our slimes. I think we are doing pretty well in our slime business. Um, we definitely want to start doing more of these and unlocking new areas. I don't know what this is. Plot market. I guess it is. Oh, this is just a slime PD, I guess. Um, yeah. But anyways, with the sun rising and the moon setting or falling, whatever. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment and share it with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, of course, remember to subscribe. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Again, if you have any tips or suggestions, be sure to um, let me know down in the comments as I am new to this game and I am learning as I'm going. Any feedback is greatly appreciated and I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time at the next day of the ranch. Bonner Vigilante, Rancher, signing out.